Your novi posao za tebe. Washington, D.C. Krasiš večeras. Dejn. It's payday. Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Redarch Live and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Overkill's announcement that they're hiring new staff members to develop console content for the Payday franchise. I'm going to break down the page they put up, explain which game I think it's for, and give my logic and reasoning towards my belief. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video and start by rolling the intro. So as I said in the intro, Overkill and Starbreeze are looking to hire more people onto the team to develop console content for the Payday franchise, and this has come from their jobs list on the Starbreeze website. This list has been up for a little while now, asking for different people to come on to do different jobs for Starbreeze as a company, from producers and animators to tech artists, level artists, vehicle artists, all that stuff. Mostly hiring in Stockholm with a couple of positions in Paris. But recently it was announced via their Twitter that they had added a few new positions onto the jobs list, including a senior console programmer. At Actually, as a matter of fact, two senior console programmers. As we open up the page, it says they're looking for two console programmers, one for Microsoft and one for Sony. Meaning they're looking for someone to develop console content, one for Xbox and one for PlayStation. Taking a quick glance through this job listing, it says that as a senior console programmer, you will be part of the engine team, working closely with the technical director, and you'll be responsible for your platform. And some of the job tasks include building, launching, profiling, and optimizing Payday on that platform, as well as updating the SDK, every major revision, and more notably, mentoring junior console programmers and helping technical artists to overcome the constraints of the platform. For those of you who don't know what an SDK is, because I didn't until I looked it up, it actually stands for Software Development Kit. It's basically what the developers use to build content for each specific console. So each console slash PC, whatever they're making the game for, has a unique SDK, and so the developers working on that platform need to know how to use that SDK in particular. This person must also be fluent in spoken and written English, be very good with programming, and have a solid experience as a console programmer, as well as Unreal Engine 4 knowledge. Several interesting facts there that I want to combine and discuss in a bit more detail. Now that we've seen that looking for more console people, there are two things that come to mind. First off, developing content for Payday 2 on consoles, and second off, developing console content for the upcoming Payday 3. So which title are these positions being held for? Well, if it wasn't already inherently obvious from reading through all those points, I personally believe the staff have been hired for Payday 3 development. As a lot of you no doubt know by this point, it has been 14 months since the last Payday 2 console update on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and at that time former CEO Mikhail Nermok stated that it would not be guaranteed anymore that consoles would see any further updates and that at some point if they could they'd revisit the game and add more content. But with it being so long since that last update I think a lot of us have begun to believe now that that really was the terminus for Payday 2 on Xbox One and PS4 which is heartbreaking because I still believe there is some content on that game that they could port over. Some masks, some guns, some things like that. I really wish they had done another update and I've said this to them already. I've sent them a list of every piece of content missing and asked if they could release something with even the smallest amount of content. But I think at this point, as a lot of us know, they've just moved all their staff over to Payday 3. I think at this point, anyone who's not working on Payday 2 for PC or maybe a couple on Payday Crime War have just gone straight over to Payday 3 to build up for PC, for Xbox, for PlayStation. And I think really they've just left the consoles of Payday 2 behind and it's more of an unspoken thing. I don't know that for sure, but at this point, I'm starting to get very suspicious. Put it this way, it took over 400 days for the first DLC pack to release for the Crime of Edition on Xbox One and PS4 with the big score content drop and we're nearing 400 days again so in a couple of months time we'll have the longest console content drought we've ever had so that basically means that I think it's safe to say that things are starting to run a bit thin not to mention it says they're going to be mentoring junior console programmers so we're talking about a sizable amount of staff working on these console versions and to solidify it they need Unreal Engine 4 knowledge and for those of you who aren't in the loop Payday 3 is currently being developed on Unreal Engine 4 that is the engine the game will be running on they're not using diesel anymore so combining all of this together that means that they're hiring more staff members for Payday 3's console versions. Which is both good and bad, because I've said in the past, especially with Payday 2, there have been so many different consoles now that have had some kind of problems, either big or small with Payday 2, Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, this list is getting really long, and Overkill have kept making mistakes in one way or another, which we've all been through, we've all talked about, and while some of it is not inherently their fault, a lot of it is just not being able to get the content out that they promised, and it has been really sucky. But last summer, Overkill did confirm they were making console versions to Payday 3 for both Xbox and PlayStation. They didn't confirm which consoles, they just said it was coming to those platforms. And as I said,
said back then, and as I'll keep saying now, Overkill know the mistakes they've made. And I really honestly do not believe they'd even give a whiff of console versions being developed if they didn't think they were going to get it right from the beginning. And it's backed up even further by the fact that Unreal Engine 4 is a great engine for building up content that can be ported to several different platforms. Diesel is not an engine that works very well with consoles. I've talked about this all before in previous videos. If you want to check out my What Went Wrong for Payday 2 on Consoles video, that explains it in more detail. But basically, building on Unreal Engine 4 and having a solid dev team behind them should hopefully make up for the mistakes they made with Payday 2. So going forward with console stuff with the next game, everything should, fingers crossed, hopefully be absolutely fine and we shouldn't have any problems. But for Payday 2, as I've said, I just, I think things have been left in the dust. But at this point in the video, I do think it's worth mentioning that the Payday 2 Twitter account did actually earlier this week mention a little bit about consoles in a thread of tweets. I'm just going to read those out to you as well to clarify further that Overkill stance has not changed. They tweeted, hi console heisters, just wants to say that we see you and your comments on our message from Overkill, that being the developer update from last week. We know your love of the game and we're privileged to have a community that cares as much as you do. For that, we salute you. When and if we will have anything newsworthy to share, we will share that in our usual channel at Payday 2 Console. Make sure to give it a follow if you haven't and keep on making us aware of your thoughts and your opinions and keep those helmets flying. Please note this is a way for us to say hi, we don't have any actual news with this message, we want to and we need to acknowledge your love of the game, that is all, cheers. So again, just kind of clarifying that console DLC is probably not going to happen anytime soon, they've not mentioned any kind of an update there but just reassured the console heist is that they don't just ignore the messages, they see them there but they can't really do a lot of them in it. If they're busy working on Payday 3 and they're not making console content then there's not really a lot they can say to all the comments people leave about console. There's this it's kind of hang not hang up but there's the, the i can't think of the word for it console players feel like they're being ignored which isn't really the case because they're trying to do other stuff at the point of time so i don't want console players myself included to feel like overkill are ignoring people or don't care it's just as i've said they're not currently able to work on console dlc very much for payday 2 their main focus is payday 3 that's what's got to get out the door if there's no more payday 2 console updates that's why i mean put it this way if they didn't care about console players why even bother making a console version to begin with because of all the aggro it caused them it's just not worth the hassle they know this time they've got to make things right that's why they confirmed the console versions and i do seriously hope and trust in them that they'll get it right this time i really do i know time will tell with that but i have faith this time they know they can't screw up and so hopefully they won't but that's about it i wanted to bring up that they were hiring console staff to show people that they are caring about the console version to payday 3 but at the same time it is a double-edged sword because that does say to us that really payday 2's console versions may well be dead in the water which is sucky and i know people are going to be upset about that believe me i'm upset too just because i can play on pc now doesn't mean i don't want to play it on xbox Xbox One because if I could, I'd play it on Xbox One. I'd choose that platform. I much prefer playing on my Xbox to playing on my laptop. I, I just do. There's no doubt there. But at the end of the day, I hope you can all understand I've done the best I can to try and get more updates out from Overkill with all the problems they've had and all the work they're making to try and, you know, fix the debts they've created and just get the company back into some solid business. They've decided Payday 3 is the way forward and honestly, I can't blame them. And I hope a lot of you will understand that too in the comment section down below. But either way, I would welcome your opinions on this situation. Do you think these developers are for Payday 3 or do you think maybe there could be a couple for Payday to. I don't personally believe it, but I would welcome your opinions in the comment section below. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. What do you think about them hiring new console staff? Let me know. But that brings an end to this video for now. So thank you all very much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you do give it a like as it's greatly appreciated and it shows me that you like this content and would like to see more. And if you're new around here, why not click subscribe because it's quick, it's free, and I'll always love you for doing so. Links to all my socials, as always, are in the description. You can follow me on Twitch, check out some of my other YouTube channels such as the Red Arch Live Stream Archive and my new non-payday channel the cosmic vortex there's also a discord server link a twitter and instagram all that good stuff so check out all of that in the description down below and as always a very special thank you goes to my patrons and channel members for supporting me beyond watching my regular content thank you to all of you as always your names are in the outro of the video and if you fancy also supporting me alongside them then the links are in the description as always donations are never expected but always appreciated and help to support me making more content but either way thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all next weekend with a brand new video until then look after yourselves stay safe and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.